So many stalls here. All full of foods I've never eaten. The aroma is indeed tantalizing. I'm detecting a rather unique blend of spices. Your nose knows everything. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. More Final Fantasy 15. Here we are in Lestalem, and let's get started doing things that don't involve taking Iris to Cape Kai. Uh huh. Oh, that's neat. Nice little drawing. Excuse me, but you're a hunter, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. You see, Gramps is seeking to secure new supply channels for merchandise. Uh, supply channels? Okay. To that end, we'd negotiated a deal with your fellow hunter, but he went silent on us. Maybe he got cold feet, maybe he's a cold corpse. If you meet him, could you ask him if the deal's still on? Saw a Magitek trooper there. It's cute that this 12-year-old is asked. <laughs> it's totally acting like he has rights when he doesn't. Hey there! Have your... There's always more whenever you need it. Alright, I would like to engage with your quest, which involves touching this part of your thing, which is right next to... Alright, they didn't really assign these things. Well. Hey, brother. You're a hunter, right? And you drive all over the place? Yeah. What about it? Well, I have a little favor to ask. If you see a delivery van abandoned along the road, would you mind retrieving the cargo for me? The vehicle was attacked by monsters, you see, and the driver had to ditch it. Van interrupted. All right, find some stuff inside a van. Find some hunter that went AWOL on the, on the shopkeeper. But another equally important question is why Noctis is just standing here not moving. I guess I hit the look at thing button. And this place is just a mess. What do we got? What do we got here? Pick it up! Ah! I'm, I'm gonna fucking... I'm a snap. I'm a... I just need to eat. Welcome, welcome. Good to see ya. You must be hungry. What can I get you? Yes, give me all the info about this area. I haven't really explored it much. Monsters, how about that? We would welcome the help. Ah, very good. We have four hunts that we can participate in. All of these, except for the top one, give us two stars. And we need seven to rank up, so... We'll just engage with all of these. Avenge the Anglers. And then we've got Ruler of the Braves. Be careful, eh? We've already fought this thing. I, uh, I used, like, I think I used a Beast Whistle in a previous episode, and that's how I fought Appreciate it. it. Whatever. What's what's wrong with taking another one out? Granted, I've kind of adopted a new editing style, which is kind of showing you the hunts and then maybe cutting to the finish for them. Mostly because you've seen Great. a lot of these enemies before, like the Web Weaving Princesses. We've fought them before. All right, that's five hunts to do, and then Don't likely a fifth. Of potions. Yeah, likely a fifth hunt once we finish that. But there's still more to uh, prepare in Lostalem. This is a pretty big town. Certainly not your average little boy. A little bit too much brass for that. That's how I imagined you used to be, Iggy. I wasn't, I assure you. <laughs> not another word or I will poison you. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Welcome. I don't remember if this guy has separate like stuff. I think eat? he does. Recently, these beasts have been prowling about. Ooh, boy. This is going to be a very long, long episode that will seem perfectly luck. reasonably sized for you guys. But for me, I'm already in tears. Is I that look forward ice to the good news. bomb? Huh. And then we got a... Uh... No, don't wait until nightfall. We can actually just go pick that up. You'll take on the job? Because by Wonderful. the time we get by the time we get to the ice bomb, it'll already be nighttime. Uh, we gotta catch them. forward to the catch good some news. Frogs, and by catch them, I mean murder them. Not like the frog catching thing that the uh, the good researcher has us do. And then five arbas with long necks on the plane. You'll take on the job. Wonderful. I think what I'll do in terms of editing is uh, start commentating to show off these specific 
uh, hunts when we're almost done with them as opposed to when we start them. Feel like that's a good way to flow into the episode. Anything in particular I can tell you? In general, that seemed like the best idea of how to do that. Also, it tells you how I'm going to edit it by looking at when I talk on the little wave thing. Uh, which you kind of have to do in situations like this, because this will probably be a three and a half hour video that will be 30 minutes. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. I was considering eating, but um, you know what? We are going to do stuff at night. We, we can totally, we can totally take Some this dude up on his food offer. Everybody, we're going to have bird broth rice with curry. Certainly. It's time for us to chow down. Obtain our buffs. I dare say I could make this at camp. And now Ignis can plagiarize it. Very good. Thank I'd say what well, I'd say of the, the many missed opportunities or the unfortunate <laughs> things about 15 is I kind of wish I kind of wish the game got a sequel. Or, or, or at least they, like, made another game within this universe. Or, like, the, the game itself had more... Ta My main thing is I wish there were more locations. And I feel like a sequel or another one of these games could have served that purpose. Uh, I don't think DLC really serves that at all. Um, there's, there's something about DLC where, where it always just fits within that one or two hour experience. Where in a game here, you spend a lot of time in Lestalem doing quests and other stuff. Everywhere. I've seen enough of them. So, in the end, like, making a thing for an entire game, I feel like you spend more time in it. But the hour-to-hour -hour experience of a DLC, activated separate from the menu, I feel like there's a bit more of a finite... It feels... The things that you do in them, and like the locations in them feel just more finite to it that's why I, I always like dlc that is either integrated into the game or just expands upon stuff in the main game and you can just experience it that way something like kingdom hearts 2's final mix stuff where it isn't really you're not going into a menu All and selecting was the that. chancellor i'd had suspicions but that was well beyond them he's awfully friendly for an enemy leader I, I generally I don't like things you activate through a menu and that's how you engage with it. Kingdom Hearts 3, for example, is doing that. However, the reason it is doing that uh, is unknown. There are some theories about the... And I'm just talking about the story scenario they said is access through a menu. But it is also doing what I want, which is stuff that expands the main game. But the other story thing seems interesting. And I'm hoping the reasons that they couldn't include it are pretty wild. Uh, that's the hope, at least. Anyway, I was just talking about that because I was thinking about how much I enjoy hanging out in this area. Exactly. Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the king once stood alongside the six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. Anyway, what I was saying is I, I like exploring this area and I wish there were a lot more. <sighs> and it's kind of sad that this studio kind of spent a lot of time making DLC. And when they started making DLC they wanted to make, they were forced to stop, and who knows what this team's going to be making next. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a chat with, uh, this, this large lad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the Crown Prince. City's most famous hunters, right? Yeah. <laughs> Got out while you could, huh? Bad stuff's going on down there. You need cash? Cause I need people. What do you say? The job's yours, if you're willing and able. That depends. What's the job? The easy kind. Just need a couple of photos is all. The disc of Corthus. One from the south, one from the north. I suppose we can manage that. Yeah? That's great, kid. Music to my ears, let me tell you. Now, you're gonna need a camera, so what I suggest... We've already got one. <laughs> Came prepared, huh? Guess you're ready to roll. Come back as soon as you get the shots. I'll be right here waiting to see what you do.
And that was Vive. Maybe we should have thought about this. Uh, how so? Something's suspect. There must be a couch. Guess we'll find out. Vive is an NPC that gives us numerous quests that are related to photos. Like, a lot of them. So, uh, we'll probably be doing most, if not all, of them in this episode. Because uh, they're, they're very easy. You just go to the location and then hit and, you know, set up the photo. The only problem that arises from this is that certain times, if it's nighttime, you can't take the photo. Which I think is really lame, because this game isn't like a Bethesda RPG where you can just hit a button and then wait hours at a time. It's a lot more cumbersome. Though there was an update, so there's one specific zone that was always really tough. It is no longer tough because camps let you re uh, advance time. But before, it was f such a nightmare near launch. Um, or not a nightmare, but it was an inconvenience. I'll say that. Let's not go way too hyperbolic. Another thing I haven't really pointed out is the timed quest feature. You earn QP by uh, completing quests or ranking high, then you exchange it for prizes. Quest points are shared across save files, but the items received in exchange for them aren't. So you can like see what they have going on. Like this one, you need to take on a Tyraneant, which I assume is a Tyrant Treant, uh, chapter seven onward. And you can exchange your QP for stuff like Afro Sword, a synth-heavy sword, uh, gives the wielder the spark and make them unstoppable against enormous enemies. I assume those are all references to Afro Jack, who did a collaboration Chocobo theme for the game that I had no interest in. And then some other, you get some other stuff, a huge amounts of gill, shit tons of experience and AP. It, it was the game's attempt to be a games as a service in a way, just keep people coming back every day. I don't think the game really uh, uh, succeeds in that regard at all. Uh, that said, uh, it was a nice, it was a nice attempt. All times daytime, all time, all time daytime, daytime rainy, all time nighttime. All right, we only got one nighttime one. Uh, it is a ways away though. Now, uh, all honesty, we have to do this at night. Ignis is going to insist we don't do this during, uh, we don't do this in the car. And I hate that cutscene. The roads are perilous at night. Might be best to make camp. And then I say, Ignis, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so we're, gonna, we're just gonna use a chocobo for it. And then we can just uh, quickly return to the car when done. Anyway. I will see you guys when we are uh, just about done dealing with the ice bombs. Then we shall return here. Then we shall rest. And then on a brand new day, we continue our work. It's going to be a busy one. I think I've found out where the van is. It's over here. We just got to take a jump. <laughs> is that the delivery van? <laughs> oh. That would be a good reason to ditch the van. <sighs> Don't worry, I got this. Just take care of a couple of these bees. Warp strike till, you know, till there's nothing left. This one's just for you. Yeah, poison the bees, Prompto. That'll work. This sounds like you're having fun. I think I burned the cargo. <laughs> All right, time to make a delivery. Don't want to spoil the spoils. All right, well, that takes care of the the package, at least. All right, back to work. Yeah. <sighs> Hell of a view. Ready or not? Now let's get the next one. And that's one photo down. Uh, let me get this shot. Now we go back, right? And that's the other shot. We can report back to Vive, but I think I'll get these hunts done before I do that. So, I haven't really been showing a lot of these hunts. 
But this one I am. Uh, for a good reason. Now, the reason is because it is the, uh, the toads. Toads only appear in the rain, and rain is random, so you have to go to a camp. And what I had to do, because I was so afraid that the game was going to screw me, right? And make it so that, uh, it would stop raining by the time I got here. I planted my car next to the hunt. Ran all the way down here to this camp. Waited till morning 11 times. And it finally began to rain on one of those mornings. Hit return to car. Ran here. And then got the frogs to spawn. I'm just saying. Maybe they, maybe that shouldn't be a thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go get rid of these guys. Oh, it's Dave. Howdy, boys. Say, if you can take a little time out, would you mind helping me track down some more tags? I mean, yeah, I huh. guess. What I could also do is find that hunter that, you know, gave up on the whole supply thing. You're the one who struck a deal with the shop in Lestalem? Yeah, that's me. Well, they wanted to know if the deal's still on. It is, but there's been a minor setback. Getting the merchandise is no problem. But the delivery route, uh, it's littered with old animal traps. Isn't safe to travel through there. I'm in the middle of removing the traps, but it's slow going. I'll say, would you mind lending me a hand? Remove old traps, and by lending him a hand, he means he wants me to do all of it. Excuse me. Just wanted to... Welcome to the crow's nest. Just wanted to have a nice chat. Oh shit, we're just turning these in. I forgot that's how that works. Alright, so, uh, I guess we can talk a little bit because I have done every hunt that is available at this point. Um, one thing that I had intended to do initially when producing, uh, this episode was to, you know, do it as I always have. And I'm starting to realize that maybe you guys don't give a shit about the hunt stuff, uh, because certainly I've reached the point where I don't want to commentate me fighting every enemy, because the combat is samey to a degree a that if it's just fighting trash enemies to get stuff, by the way, we ranked up, so that's really great to hear. Um, the recognition you deserve. We are a ranger. Uh, I've come to this realization that uh, I, I, want, I don't feel like commentating on these, so I was like, okay, I'll show the end of them. But then it just becomes me going, that's the last hit. I got it. So instead, I'll just show this. The footage of me turning in everything when it's done. Uh, just to show you that I did it. Promotion. And nice. um, the, the, the thing that actually matters is going, completing a side quest, and uh, turning in the side quest, and accepting Ain't it. Ain't that a look of accomplishment? Because unlike the other things, that is something with a little bit of substance to it with this it's they can attach they can attach a hunter icon there. to any monster on the map then i'm not looking to make this lp take forever in terms of the videos being released in terms of the game being played i'm still playing all of it which i'm having a great time with i'm just finding that uh it's kind of a waste of time to include certain things on the video hey how's it going Back so soon? Oh, you're getting quicker at this. Good. Science waits for no man. That is a lot more experience than I think I deserve for that, but hey. Who am I to complain over great things I've been given? Alright. Any any anything else, by the way? Hey, wanna be my study buddies? No, not at all. <laughs> Let's um Let's see. Next up, we do have a dog tag to go get. But where are we in relation to it? There. So we'd have to go to the Fall Grove if we wanted to pick that up. Uh, we might as well turn in stuff in Lestalem now. Welcome. I don't see it here. If it's not on the shelf, you're out of luck. It's going to be a while before we get any new stock in. The whole last delivery fell off the guy's truck. We'd go and pick it up, 
but that area is too dangerous. Oh. That is, unless you're willing to go and fetch the shipment for us. Yeah. I think we can handle it. We gotta find an abandoned shipment. I wish I'd checked this earlier, but huh. it didn't occur to me and it wasn't popping up there. There's also a separate quest for him. I'm in hell. I'm never escaping these quests. Hey boys, I have a job for rough and ready sorts like you and yours. Uh, okay. If you're not busy, I'd like you to head over to my farm and bring back some produce. Was about to send a request to Hunter HQ when you showed up. <laughs> Thought I'd try my luck with you first. You can get the details at the farm. Thanks in advance. On the hunt for a harvest. So we'll get instructions at Furlock Farms. Alright, well that's all well and good, but let's uh... We actually haven't gone down and done your thing yet. But that's fine. That's fine. We can turn in the one we have here. Ah. Ah. Ah, that, that, that. Is this the cargo you're expecting? Wow, great work finding this. Couldn't have come sooner. Was about to run out of stock. But I can keep things running thanks to you. Well, always, always happy to help, but uh, there's just an army of women here. I guess they just got off work. Probably something like that. Oh, hey there, brother. Uh, hey. Guess what? We got another van that's a no-show. If you run into it, would you grab the cargo for me? You guys need... <laughs> wow. Van interrupted again. Yeah, this really, this really is like, uh... A way to show show the audience uh, what open world games quests like open world RPGs be like is like fucking whatever. It's the same quest again, asshole. Go do it. And I'm like, you can't make me do it. I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> oh shit. At the very least, let's go. Uh, let's go talk to Viv and pick up. Uh, our reward for our first of the photo things. I made a boneheaded statement saying that I was going to do all of Beef's things here today. No, no, I'm just doing this one, but I will at least obtain his second one. So, how'd it go? Did you get any good shots? Does this work for you? It does look pretty good. Ah, oh, not bad, not bad. You got talent, that's for sure. My readers are gonna dig this. What readers? Look, I'm in the print business, okay? Maybe you've heard of my company. Meteor Publishing? Mm, nope. Can't say I have. Not once. <laughs> well, you have now, so don't you forget it. Here's your pay. If you get stuck for a cash again, drop on by. Maybe I'll have another job for you. The name's V, by the way. I'll be seeing you around. So I'd say these are definitely the easiest quests in the game to do. Just make it to an area. I don't know why it's so sweaty. It's like it's the evening. Is it always summer or something? I know the hey, meteor's hot, but come got on. A minute. I got a profitable proposition for you. More photos, right? Correcto mundo. I'm the first guest, too. I need shots of Angel God. Ever seen it? The funny looking island off the coast of Galden. Yeah, I know it. Figures you would. Famous place, home of legends and all that. Anyway, I need a good picture of it. Take a few shots. Make it look impressive. I'll let you decide where to shoot from. Alright, head to Golden Key and take a picture. Simple enough. So, there for the are. remainder hey, of this episode, this is going to be more retrospective-esque. Mostly because it's post-commentated. Because uh, Audacity crashed 90% uh, of the way through this, because I split this up into two recordings, as uh, the first well, chunk of this episode I was two hours. And then this broke, and I about lost my mind. Uh, how That means that I got to edit this one a bit more Job, well liberally. Done. Which means uh, we'll be going point by point. First off is the hunt stuff which I did about eight or nine of these, I thought I which I'm pretty sure I showed me picking these up as we went along. And as mentioned earlier, the new way I'm gonna be doing hunts is just showing you that I completed Job, them, well as opposed to showing each one. However, I will be making exceptions for special cases, 
stuff like the toads that require you to uh, find a way to make it rain and other special monsters that we have not encountered in the game before that seem like exciting so it's like oh you found a new small bug or this flan's a different color no not necessarily looking to show that off but if they show another giant monster like the bird for example i'll do that but we had already fought the bird a couple of episodes ago you think that's the ship next up we have this incredibly yes, powerful fight against these fight gorillas i really don't know what i could have done oh wait boom baby just bringing it down bringing it to him exploding it and that's all that's we all had to do. <laughs> Let's head back to town. It was really, really simple. Isn't it fun when you pre-bake uh, edits of jokes? <laughs> I mentioned. think it's great. Thanks for coming. This is called Without One Take, ado, Baby. Uh, after <gasps> after we picked farm, up the stuff on that car, the the which there's like 500 of those quests. The They're all the Here's same shit. Good luck. Uh, this one is we had to head over to the farm. And they're like, oh, well, there's monsters attacking the main farm area. So you're going to have to go in there, take out the monsters, and then harvest the stuff. Uh, at this point, I was I kind of didn't really care. I was using one of my stronger weapons that you got. I think it was through a booster DLC that was out around the time the game came out. This is Ragnarok, an absurdly powerful, like, futuristic type sword that boosts your damage based on warp strikes. So it has this cool red effect uh, instead of blue. Uh, Prompto is continuing to be on this bullshit. Uh, I can't fathom why th this, this sounds comes like up. You're having this fun. Does. This satisfies the quota, it's been, I believe. It's been this. Uh, I'm getting a drink. I'm sorry, or I'm, I'm gonna die because this is 11 straight minutes of me talking. This in particular. Uh. This let's play, I, I have gotten so many prompto. I, I cannot believe it. Wonderful. All that's left is to deliver the veggies to the shop. Thank you. All right. So, in general, I'd say that this is about four hours of footage I punched down to a normal video. Uh, good God. I've started to realize that, you know. Doing large, just marathon Take runs of side quests ah, in 15 generally make them feel a lot worse now. and a lot more boring to me than help. they should. The but one we gone, just did there the was the bear promised. trap related one for this hunter dude. Soon, but if you're headed that way, and that one's guards. just awful because it's just so hard to find that stuff. It's the same tier of quest as the frog right. collecting Another one for Sonya. This one was a dog tag one which you Gotta just beat us. a couple of monsters near it. Here's another fucking one. van one where you gotta, where you gotta collect, right. collect the stuff that, you know, the, the van got like attacked by monsters. Thanks for doing uh, that. At this point, we're finally starting to feel, see the fruits of our labor a little bit. What about this? Turning angle? in the dog tag over there. Ready or not? Well, let's go. Uh, we're taking in. on another one of these picture taking things for Vive. So, this one was for the Angel Guard yeah, Island. So, we take a picture of that. By this point, I'm so done. Because by this point, I had already seen that it crashed. And I was like, well, I got to keep recording the footage. So, I'll figure out something to do here. And at this point, you uh, I had a time. brain um, issue and went, oh, another time. quest? Indeed. And this time I've got to do it, food, which is a horrible food. idea now that I think about it. From Tenebrae. Like, Tenebrae? No, no, I can save it for like the next time. I it's not that I think these quests are ago, particularly bad. I just found play. myself uh, in a more of an editing nightmare making this one than I usually do. And I was trying to do two episodes of one LP, two episodes of this one at once in one day. Which can be quite challenging, hey, getting it all done yours. in one big burst. <laughs> You're a life but that quest brother. that I got from Bet her is something that inside. I cannot even really. do until later. As far as uh, one Google search exactly said, really wait really until this point and then you'll my usual. have access to it. it cheap, so we'll wait till so be later. Sure to buy up. Uh, this is um, this is us starting to finally uh, drill through some of the rewards for the uh, the like farmers market area here. So. Feels good to uh, properly cash these things in. Thanks for clearing things up. We've been in contact with the hunter again. With the deal secure, we can keep selling quality goods at reasonable prices. We couldn't have done it without you. Uh, yeah, no sweat. 
By the way, new stock just came in, so take a look. You won't find cheaper. Uh, okay. Excuse my grandson. The word precocious was invented for him. You know, that kid's fucked up. For some reason, because my TV's so big and I tend to kind of look down, I just noticed how weird his knees look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sure I just thought like I'd give, I give you a nugget of this is what happens sure. when KZ hmm. pulls an all-nighter and plays like? a lot of 15. Uh, he says some weird shit. Well, can't be too different from now. Sounds right. I can't believe you managed to bring it all back. Our part of the deal's done. Is this what you came for? <laughs> sure. Help yourself. Go nuts. I'll take as much as I can carry. Sheesh. Oh, no well. back or anything. Uh, you, <laughs> but sure. It's, I it's guess like I've been robbed you. twice in one day. So I believe I'm supposed to talk to this dude twice, but I fucked up and forgot that he Ugh. is the vendor oh. of two quests. Well, look at all that. You boys On the bright side, though, we did get tacos load. here. I took as much as I could carry. How much? Nothing. Whoa! Now y'all didn't pull a heist, did you? No. You think I'm a thief? Uh, forgive me, son. Just uh, reminded me of my own past is all. Must have been 30 years ago. Once tried to steal food from here until old Sid done caught me. Wrapped me right on the noggin and took me in. This here will keep you fed, so uh, you won't have to steal. I do like that they put at least a little bit of effort toward uh, uh, toward the characters here. I think it's pretty good, especially when you have a bunch of trash quests like this. A little bit of flavor goes a long way, I think. Of course, huh. we're not oh. done with them. Hey there. Hey. Y'all got spare time? A hunt? Yep. And it's a dangerous one. Do you need it? Sure do. Then we'll do it. Thanks, son. I like he's like, what, you have another quest? Yeah, go do it. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's all you need. Huh. You two are like old buddies now. It's like you've got a bond that doesn't need words. I suspect you've built an unspoken trust. More of a saying the same thing trust. Obliged, boys. Next up ah, is we gotta pick up this thing. Than this. Say, this is your harvest. Should try it. Uh, maybe some other time. Come now, don't be shy. Now, as thanks to you, one, we can offer our this is great because Nox just hates Take vegetables. Time. And he's Let like, me know please if you need help. Alone. Please. Have to go far to find veggies this fresh. Mm, gotta be tasty. But I got you confused because there were two quests tied to like this dude, right so I ended up doing this like one late. Ever feel like it. Well, uh, get the to shots. put yeah, it all, sure. put a put a, put a, a put a big wrapper on uh, the quests, at least completing them for the episode. This is the second Vive quest all done. Oh yeah, these are good, real good. <laughs> you guys have a knack for this. Are you seriously gonna publish our photos? How could I not publish beauties like these? Really? In fact, I got a feature upcoming about the old legends. They'll be perfect for it. Your photos are good. They got soul. Anytime you need more work, you come to me. He's so sweaty. Also, he looks like that dude from Lost, but I'm pretty sure everyone on Earth has made that has made that joke, or you've experienced someone who made that joke, even Look if you don't here. know what Lost this is. My new camera team. I Seeing barely know. By, I can give you a new assignment, yeah? Sure, I guess. Okay, what I need is more material for my big feature on the old legends. Yeah, sure. So, where do you need us to go? Tell Par Crag. The rift valley that separates the sky and claim was formed in the age of legends, or so they say. I need shots from two different angles. One shot from each should do it. Your photos are gonna be the highlight of the piece, so get some good ones. <laughs> I know you can. I really can. But that's gonna be something we'll say for the next time I'm doing side quests, which will not be for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, Noct. Let's go. Ah, oh, look at you getting into this. He is living his dream after all. So, after all of this, after about right four here. hours Deal. of raw just playing through it to make a 30 plus minute video, the most satisfying part is right here where we rest and cash in over 40,000 experience, over 200. Oh, the AP's still counting up to holy shit. Uh, look forward to specking things out in even 300 AP. Everyone's nearing level 40. 
we're pretty stacked as is. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. This is episode, I believe, 13 of Final Fantasy 15. And the filler episode that this was is pretty much done. Next time we'll be uh, taking Iris over to Cape Kayam, or which will take a little bit. And that means there will be multiple plot episodes slash meaty side quest area episodes before we go back and do more stuff. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This was, in the end, satisfying to complete, and my car isn't here. Uh, we're gonna walk.